Well, looky here. Were you a fan of mini tablet phones like the Z Ultra or Lumia 1520? Lenovo has a bleeding edge twist on the large form factor. We're looking at the Fab Pro 2 at Lenovo Tech World, and this phone is a monster, no joke. Halfway through trying to shoot video of this beast, a tiny Asian woman who barely spoke any English saw I was in distress and offered to help use the phone on camera. If you have hobbit hands like mine, this might be a three-hander. All joking aside, this is a fascinating push into the North American market for an actual Lenovo branded product. During the press conference, we got word that this phone would show up in Best Buys around the country, and Lowe's is already a partner to showcase the camera tech, and more on that in just a bit. The 6.4 inch display is rocking a quad HD LCD with a subtle curve to the glass, 4 gigabytes of RAM paired with 64 gigabytes of storage, and a 4050 milliamp hour battery. We've got some big specs to go along with the big size. I will say that the fingerprint sensor is in a handy spot considering the width and girth of this phone, and side-mounted controls are easily reached even if the opposite side of the phone screen isn't. The Qualcomm 652 mid-ranger processor was an interesting choice for this platform, but we can't really comment on the performance of pre-release software. But for the most part, the demos included on the phones ran smooth during the show. And, oh, hey look, an app drawer on a Lenovo phone. I like that. It's an audacious expanse of metal and glass, but what we're really interested in is this multi-camera module on the back. Not only do we get a main 16 megapixel camera, it's partnered with a depth sensor and motion tracking hardware to power Google's Tango. No longer Project Tango, this is Google's initial push into the consumer-facing world of augmented reality. And it works surprisingly well. We went hands-on with several demos, looking up some of our favorite dinosaurs, for example, or playing with virtual dominoes in real space. This phone was handily able to track our movement and pin objects to the location they were dropped, so long as there was some contextual information for the camera to latch onto. We found a few teething pains with the softbox glowing tables Lenovo used for displays, but that's not a super likely usage scenario for most people. No placing sensors around your room or depending on special codes or objects, the phone will largely find its own way through scanning a location and it understands where it is in relation to objects around you. As mentioned earlier, Lowe's is already a launch partner and will be delivering an app designed around internal decorating. You can see what your place would look like with hardware floors or when you want to buy a new chair. And when looking to buy new furniture, Tango is a handy tool for measuring objects in space without having to grab a tape measure. You can calculate surface area and volume on the fly. And what would a new technology be without some kind of gaming application? And while VR is cool today, augmented reality will be epic. A Qualcomm alien hunting demo on the show floor was crazy fun. It's a forward-thinking technology featured on a phone from a company really looking at what services they can offer consumers, not just hardware. And we'll definitely have more to say once we can get our hands on one to give it a proper review. Like, all of our hands. At once. On one phone. The Fab 2 Pro will be available unlocked starting in September with a retail price of $499. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like these and hit that thumbs up button for a little extra positive reinforcement. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram, and I will catch you all on the next one.